Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Survival Games as we're about to get underway with the first of our double main event, Team Vintage vs. Team Elite in what is probably the most highly anticipated contest here tonight. Another four-on-four -four traditional Survival Games matchup. Team Vintage vs. Team Elite. Let's get to ringside as Vintage ring announcer Tim Richardson has our introduction. Shooter Storm being led to the ring by the voice Justin Michaels, Mr. Braggadocious, as I like to call him. If you ask him, he'll tell you he's the best, he's number one, he's the leader of Team Elite. If you got an hour, he'll talk to you for an hour just to tell you how good he is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Shooter probably having one of the one of the best years of his career here at Vintage Wrestling. A breakout year for the all-nighter Shooter Storm. And he's accompanied to the ring by the leader of Team Elite, the voice, Justin Michaels. Another individual who, if you'll let him, he will tell you how great he is as well. Hence the nickname, the moniker, the voice, as the guy has a tendency not to shut up. There they are, the Vintage Tag Team Champions Beast Mode, over 700 pounds. They'll be one of the teams participating, defending their titles at Russell 4 in that triple threat, tables, ladders, and chairs matchup for the Vintage Tag Team Championship. It is a long storied rivalry between Beast Mode, Simon Says, Team Vintage, Milo Beasley, Team Lucha. The story goes on for a while. If you remember, for the longest of time, these guys all ran together. Simon Says, Beast Mode, Shooter Story. And this guy, the New Jersey Bad Boy, the Air TV Champion, Eric Cooper. a cohesive unit until the Empire was divided and Team Elite was formed. Two. Two. To the, to the interference. To the mind numbing of the voice, Justin Michaels. Look at him. Look at the smirk on his face with that evil group he's got behind him. Undoubtedly, four of the best. Four of the best individuals here on the Vintage roster. Doesn't mean I like them, though. Also known as Team Lucha, Cruz and Rios. They're the second participating team in that triple threat tables, the ladders and chairs match to take place at Russell Brawl 4. Saturday night, January 19th, right here in Stanford, Florida at the Salvation Army Gymnasium. Not sure why they went back stage, back in the locker room, and that's why. Cruz and Rios bringing two of their best friends, the ladders, to ringside with them here tonight. The Ladders, a representation of that TLC match to take place at Russell Brawl 4. There they are, standing high atop the Ladders. Listen to the ovation from the crowd here in Sanford tonight. Now what will be interesting to see here is if Team Vintage can act and work together as one cohesive unit because Team Lucha 
and the team of Simon Says and Milo Beasley work together tonight, that they will be fighting against one another as both teams buy for that tag team gold at Russell Brawl 4. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to the crowd erupt here in Sanford, Florida for Florida's favorite bum, Milo Beasley. A major, massive fan favorite here at Vintage All-Star Wrestling. As he gets to that curtain, listen to this crowd erupt. Gentlemen, I don't know how many wrestling maneuvers you're going to see here tonight, as I expect Team Vintage versus Team Elite to be an absolute fight in brawl here in Sanford, Florida. Senior official Brian Roblake is going to have quite a difficult time containing all eight of these men. And you can tell he's here for one reason, and one reason only, to kick ass. Look at him, he's, he's asking Team Elite to come on, come on, bring it. And they're bringing it, as the fight gets on the way outside the ring. All eight men just going at it. The bell has not on. All eight men going at it outside of the ring. Here the Salvation Army Gymnasium. In Sanford, Florida. You see oh. Cruz and Biff Slater going at it in the corner. As we pan over, Milo Beasley shoot his sword working on one another. Simon says with a steel chair from the back of the New Jersey bad boy, Eric Cooper. No love lost there. As in controversial fashion, it was the New Jersey bad boy who defeated Simon Says for his vintage in an end of a steel chair. Jersey bad boy. It was Eric Cooper who took the title away from Simon Says just months ago. And you see another steel chair shot. A spanking, so to speak, to the New Jersey bad boy. Big right hands back and forth between Simon Says and Fifth Slater. But there's the equalizer. Steel chair to the back of Fifth Slater. And here's Milo Beasley with the foot right across the neck, taking the air out of the almost 400 pound tag team champion, Bill Slater. And Simon says, working right back on the New Jersey bad boy, as Don Maximo and, and Cruz of Los Bendales are going at it. Big right hands from Simon to Eric Cooper. Once again, no love lost there, as those two have the bitterest of the rivalries. Simon making his way back to the ring as Shooter Storm and Rios working on one another over by the stand. And Biff Slater returns the favor with a chair shot, a flying chair to the bald skull of the Emerald Emperor. A chair shot to the ribs. That'll fracture your ribs if not break them. A chair shot to the ribs like that will take the breath out of you. As Rios, other Los Medeos, comes over to make the save. And a chair shot to the back of Biff Slater. And one to the cut for good measure. We 
he is. And a flying chair shot this time to the skull of Vince Slater. And there's the teamwork. They have a line tonight. They may be fighting against one another at Russell Brawl. But tonight, you saw the hug. You saw the union. Team Lucha, Simon Says, and Milo Beasley will work together as one cohesive unit here tonight. I haven't heard the bell, but it appears to me that Shooter Storm and Milo Beasley is going to get the official action underway in the center of the ring. As we take a look at the fired up crowd here in Sanford, Florida. Milo Beasley, Florida's favorite bomb, and they're on that Shooter Storm starting things out in this four on four elimination contest. Big chop to the back of Shooter by Simon Says. Shooter begging off, throws Milo in the corner. Oh, big side of the face from the New Jersey bad boy. Fifth Slater holding on to Milo Beasley. Referee Rub Wright's got to take control. There's Shooter Storm misses Milo, but also it appears that he made a tag in the process as, as the voice Justin Michaels and Biff Slater Drag Shooter Storm out of the ring. That big finishing maneuver on Milo Beasley. Milo thought he had Shooter Storm put away. But unbeknownst to Milo Beasley, Shooter had made that blind tag in the corner. So now the New Jersey bad boy and Simon says begin to work against one another in the ring on this four on four single elimination contest. Big hip toss from the Emerald Emperor. Drop kick, single leg drop kick from Simon Says. Eric Cooper looking stunned. Big arm drag. A steamboat style arm drag from the Emerald Emperor. And you can hear the crowd here in Sanford, Florida, absolutely behind Team Vintage. The rivalry between Eric Cooper and Simon Says goes back for quite some time. This Cruz with the roll up. Cooper kicks out at two. Cruz with a big kick to the guy. Right in the center of the ring to the New Jersey bad boy. Ducks the clothesline off the second row with his second rope arm drag. Cruz continues to work on that arm of Eric Cooper with a big chop to the back as he tags in the other half of Team Lucha Rios. Double team maneuver coming our way. Kick to the shit brings Eric down, rolling him up for a submission maneuver. Well, right. Well, right gets pushed out of the way as Cruz lays a kick to the base. This should do it to Wango. Cooper kicks out almost just in the nick of time as that hand was about to come down for three. Rios to the corner. And blocks the big right hand with a shin to the face of the New Jersey bad boy. Up the top rope with a flying clothesline. One, two, and a save from Biff Slater. Big right hand from Rios and a kick to the gut to Don Maximo. Rios taking a little bit of aggression out on the Tag Team Champions. The Tag Team Champions he'll be facing at Russell Ball in that Triple Threat Tables, Ladders, and Chairs contest. Cooper with the reversal as Rios about to come up that top turnbuckle. Milo Beasley obviously agitated by the fact that Eric Cooper just spit in his face. It doesn't get any more degrading than that as Biff Slater's tagged in working on Rios choking him on that second row. Senior official in charge, referee, referee Brian Redwright has got to take control here tonight. If he does not, I, I think all eight of these individuals will walk all over him. Senior official has to act like it tonight. And real high up in the air, big scoop slam. Rios feeling the impact on his lower back as he slammed to the mat. 
Beast Slayer tags in his tags in his tag team partner, the other half of this beast mode. Yeah, in the corner. Close line in the corner. Beast Slayer throws him out. Don Maximo with a side slam. Goes to the cover. One, two, and two. 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 It doesn't get any closer than that. Rios with his shoulder up just in the nick of time. Don Maximo, I gotta tell you, using his brains here, trying to keep the high flyer grounded by working on that knee. Big shot to the guy. Two! From Pip Slater, as the tag team champions working well together here tonight. Don Maximo and Beef Slater. Keeping Rios contained in that corner. As Rios tries to fight his way out, tries to extend that arm with a big spine buster from the 400 plus pound Biff Slater. That'll do it. One, two. And the Emerald Emperor, Simon says, coming inside to make the save. Earlier in the contest, I told you I was worried. I was concerned. I wondered if Team Vintage could work together as a cohesive unit tonight. You saw the embrace at the beginning of the contest. You just saw Simon Says making the save. Looks like they have gelled. They put their differences aside to work together tonight. But at Russell Brawl, all the differences come to fruition in that triple threat tables, ladders, and chairs contest. Team Lucha, Simon and Milo versus Beast Mode for the Vintage Tag Team Championship. There's Biff Slater again, trying, trying valiantly to keep Rios from tagging in one of his fresh partners. Biff Slater able to extend the arm to get the New Jersey bad boy in there. Good work on Rios. And the New Jersey bad boy again, so degrading, so vile as he spits once again, this time in the face of Simon Says, which distracts the ref as Don Maximo is able to take advantage of Rios. Rios battered and bruised at this point. Tries to land on his feet, makes the comeback, chopped to the guy, kick right below the chin, and he makes a tag. It comes Florida's favorite bum, Milo Beasley. Big climb forearm. Milo in control with a big kick to the face of Eric Cooper. Milo looking for that big finishing maneuver. Messi snaps off the corner roll up. One, two, and three. Unbelievable. The New Jersey bad boy has eliminated Milo Beasley. Milo Beasley, the first participant eliminated in this four-on-four -four contest, which now puts the advantage with Team Elite. It is now four-on-three. Four-on-three, the advantage with Team Elite. Cruz tagged in almost eight feet up in the air as he, he blasts. He blasts Cooper, big Hurricane off the top rope, makes it tied to Rios. Rios coming off the top with a crowd splash. One, two, and three. All even up now. All even up. Three on three. As the New Jersey bad boy, Eric Cooper, has been eliminated, Fitz Slater makes his way into the ring to work with that. Oh! And blindly, Simon says didn't see it coming. A big boot to the side of the face as the lid Simon says out at ringside as these two beasts. Beast mode, take advantage of the helpless Rios. And a big double power bomb. Senior official, referee Brian Rubright, absolutely no control right now. It's almost like he's, and there's the other half of Lucha trying to make the save, trying to help his team out as Biff Slater takes him out easily. And now a table, a table coming into the ring with the assistance of Don Maxo. Brian Rubright, senior official, act like one now. You cannot be intimidated by these guys. You've got to take control. You have, and now a ladder. Oh, a ladder. 
Don Maximo throws it into the ring and you see it. And another boot to Simon Says. That ladder visibly landing in the kidney area of Rios. There's Cruz trying to save. Another boot, another boot as Simon Says and Cruz are laid out at the side of the ring as Rios, one half of Team Lucha, lays there helpless, helpless, beaten, battered and bruised. Referee Red White has got to put a stop to this. What a, oh my God, the, the table comes down over the helpless body of Rios. And now the ladder's in each hand, ladder on top, and another one. I'm, and now it, unbelievable. Ladders, chairs, tables, all in the ring. A sign of what is to come, I am sure, at Russell Brawl. I don't, I don't think Rios is moving. I don't, I don't think, I don't think Rios is moving. We need, we need help to the ring. Senior official Brian Webright has just finally taken some, some order, some control. Both the members of Beast Mode have been eliminated. Don Maximo, Biff Slater have both, both been eliminated, but the serious issue here is the fact that Rios, Rios hasn't moved. I have seen no motion. I have seen no motion from his legs, his, his hands. They can't. We have security out here. Referee, referee uh, Brian Rubright has just informed us that Rios, obviously due to condition, will be unable to continue as well. Both members of Beast Mode have been eliminated, but the serious issue at hand here, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that, that Rios is, does not move. I've seen, I've seen no movement from his, from his legs. We have, we, have, we have security, we have officials out there all trying to help him. Uh, I, believe, I believe that's his family. Uh, I believe that's his family. I believe that's his father in the middle of the ring. Officials trying to get his family out of the ring. I understand. Understandably, his family's upset. Understandably, the family's upset. Ladies, we got it. We got. Emotions are running wild here. Fans visibly upset. Officials have just escorted Rios' family out of the ring as they were trying to assist in the removal of Rios. Um, he, he's still yet to move, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I apologize. I, I, I apologize. I have no, I have no words at this time that can express uh, emotion. Emotions are obviously running wild here. People, we got to get security out there. Security has to contain fans, family, friends. Uh, obviously, this is... And there's this later. Disgusting. Disgusting. Waving. Waving at Rio says he's escorted to the locker room. As he escorted to the ambulance waving him in the back. Disgusting. A vile, heinous act. It's just occurred in the middle of this ring. I want to apologize. I want to apologize to, to any young kids that are watching with their family right now. I want to apologize to the fans in attendance, family members of Rios. Understandably, everybody is visibly upset as the action continues here in the middle of the ring. Shooter Storm, the final remaining member of Team Elite. Two on one is the advantage is in Team Vintage favor. As Simon says, with a big boot to the face, over the all-nighter, Shooter Storm, shot to the gut, and a big clothesline. Uh, it, it's hard to call this action right now. Um, with Rios being taken out of here through the back, an ambulance was awaiting him. Uh, officials had called 911 as soon as I receive any update, or if, uh, if I do not have an update by the, by the end of this match. We'll update you during our, our main event on the condition of Rios. Um, wait a minute. Shooter Storm with a low blow. Referee Rubrik didn't see it. Two and three. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen. Simon Says has just been eliminated. The Emerald Emperor has just been eliminated, but Cruz is waiting there for Shooter. Big right hand from Cruz. Close line from... 
Shooter ducks. Shooter ducks pushes Simon out of the ring. Shooter with the roll up. Two, three. Unbelievable. Team Elite. Team Elite is victorious with your final survival member, the All-Nighter Shooter Storm. Oh my. This is this is unbelievable. The final surviving member of Team Elite, the All-Nighter Shooter Storm, is victorious. Victorious over Team Vintage tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, still no update on the condition of Rios. Please stay tuned while following the second half for a double main event. Francisco Chiazza defends his heavyweight title up next. Visibly, fans upset. Simon just disappointed. Uh, stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. The vintage heavyweight title on the line next in the second part of our main event.